Coming up in this episode of TPW Weekly, I'll be talking all about a proposed cable car to connect Europa Park in Germany with the country of France. I'll be sharing all of the details. Along with that, we've got more information about the huge expansion of Walt Disney Studios at Disneyland Paris. So stay tuned for more details on that. And of course, along with the news, we're also going to be sharing some details about where we're going to be visiting this winter season here on Theme Park Worldwide. Let's just say Christmas on the channel this year is going to be bigger and better than ever before. I'm Sean Sandbrook, this is TPW Weekly, and that means it's time to cue those titles. It's Wednesday the 7th of November 2018 and welcome to this week's episode. So yes, the dreaded closed season has moved in. All the theme parks in the UK are now coming to a close or have closed over the weekend. And yeah, what a season it's been for the UK theme park industry. Of course, big investments like Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Wicker Man at Alton Towers and so many other smaller projects at different theme parks as well. What a year it's been. I've absolutely loved it. And I'll be talking more about that as I summarise the 2018 season in a special video coming up this December so stay tuned for that but yes we've just had our biggest Halloween ever in fact the last Halloween vlog here on the channel is set to come on in the next couple of days and that's a return visit to Alton Towers Scarefest uh, me Charlotte and Alex went for the day we had a really good laugh on Halloween night the 31st of October and you'll find out why when you watch the vlog so make sure you check that one out our final Halloween vlog from the season before we move straight in to our fireworks vlogs from both Drayton Manor and also Alton Towers so there's full vlogs to come from those uh, really good good firework displays we really enjoyed those and moving on from that into Christmas our Christmas offering there's so much to come now firstly let me talk a little bit about what's to come on Adventure Sean that's my second channel that I launched earlier this year when we hit 100,000 subscribers uh, and of course go and check out that channel I'll put links uh, above and also down below in the video description because that channel is about to sort of spark into life this winter uh, now I launched the channel I've put a few videos on this year and um, but it was mainly ready to launch properly this winter uh, and that's going to be starting in the next couple of weeks we're visiting lots of different Christmas markets and all that kind of stuff going to some of the biggest cities in the UK filming Christmas videos with all the Christmas lights and markets and yeah if you like that sort of stuff away from the theme parks check that out now in terms of theme parks what we're going to be doing uh, this winter season it is going to be our biggest ever offering uh, this Christmas here on Theme Park Worldwide we've just done our biggest summer we've just done our biggest Halloween now it's time for our biggest Christmas kicking it off at Disneyland Paris uh, which is going to be absolutely awesome going there to see their Christmas offering all the shows, parades, rides at Christmas it will be absolutely awesome and straight from Disneyland Paris we're going to be going out to Europa Park and seeing their Christmas not been there for a couple of years over Christmas I've not been to the park since last summer uh, 2017 so I can't wait to see all the changes you're at Can Can Coaster and everything else what's happened at the park since I last visited of course moving on from that I'm going to be coming back to the UK and then me and Alex are going to be actually be heading back out to Europe to go and visit Winter F Telling I've never done that event before I know there's a lot of Dutch fans here on Theme Park Worldwide that have wanted me to go and see F Telling during the winter season I'm going to do it this December and I can't wait to stay tuned for that and of course whilst we're out there it would be rude not to drive a little bit further down into Germany and go and check out Fantasyland's Winterum event which is absolutely gorgeous I did it a couple of years ago couldn't make it last year due to other commitments but this year we're going in and seeing that again as well so four major European Christmas events to come uh, that we're going to be covering here on Theme Park Worldwide along with various events here in the UK we're going to Stoke-on-Trent Winter Wonderland we'll be doing Hyde Park Winter Wonderland for the charity preview night and the main uh, opening night as well of course the charity night supports a uh, fantastic cause by going along purchasing a wristband uh, which means you get to go on all the rides instead of paying per ride uh, and also supporting a really good cause as well so we're doing that one on opening night there's so much to come I'm so excited for Christmas here on Theme Park Worldwide and of course over on Adventure Sean as well the theme park stuff on this channel of course as with Theme Park Worldwide but moving on you get to see a lot more of what I spend Christmas doing away from the theme parks over on Adventure Sean so it's very exciting I've got a busy winter ahead on both channels uh, but of course thank you very much for your continued support uh, Adventure Sean's nearly on 10,000 subscribers 
subscribers now. Uh, that's grown rapidly over the summer, uh, even though there's not really been that many videos going on until now. Uh, and of course, Theme Park Worldwide that is uh, swiftly approaching 150,000 subscribers. It is crazy. So thank you to all of your continued support. I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, anyway, yes, lots to look forward to here on Theme Park Worldwide. The UK Theme Park season might have come to a close, but we're about to get busy with so much different stuff uh, coming up on the channel this winter. Anyway, after that introduction, that was a big one, wasn't it? Let's move on to our weekly news roundup. Let's start off with a little bit of crazy news, shall we? And this is something what I was not expecting to be talking about this week. If we just said in last week's episode, oh, Sean, next week you're going to be talking about a cable car to connect Europa Park in Germany uh, with the country of France, then I'd said you're absolutely mad. But here we go, that's what I'm talking about this week. Uh, because, yes, that is what the Mac family and also the French president want to create uh, in part of this long-term development plan of Europa Park and connecting it with the country of France. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Crazy. This cable car would cross over the River Rhine uh, on a, probably around a three uh, mile long route because of course you've got to think Europa Park in Germany is a couple of miles from the border which is of course the, the Rhine, the River Rhine and it's got to cross that. So I've worked out it'd be about three miles or maybe just under uh, of course for this cable car which is huge infrastructure project that's going to cost an absolute fortune. And I'm talking about this before we've had the full on announcement that actually came last night as in Tuesday night but obviously to get this up in time I had to film this Tuesday morning so it's one of those isn't it so by the time you're watching this now there's probably a few more details about this cable car um, but yes an agreement has been found uh, over the past few days between Roland Mack of course whose family owns Europa Park and Emmanuel Macron uh, of course the French president to build this cable car uh, now of course the reason at the moment of filming this video it's unknown why they want to do this of course to improve connections to Europa Park but it seems like a crazy move because it's going to cost I'd imagine hundreds of millions of euros. There's lots of different options about what they could be wanting to build this for. Uh, now, they could be wanting to build a hotel in France and connect it over that way. Of course, uh, they might want to be building a, a train connection so that the French trains can connect to this station and then transport you over into Germany and Europa Park via this cable car. Uh, or maybe a second gate theme park in the long term in, in France and then connect it to the park in Germany. So many different possibilities, but of course, I'm talking about this now we could have heard more in the announcement so I could be a little bit behind on this one at the time of you watching this video um, but yeah it's absolutely crazy I didn't think that I'd be sitting here this week talking uh, about this I mean what do you think to this project me personally I think it's bizarre it seems like a crazy move in my opinion and like, it depends on what they're going to announce but I can understand that it's a long-term plan for the part to make it easier connected through France and the rest of Europe but it just seems like an interesting amount of money that could have to go into this. A huge amount of money that I can't help but feel could be better spent on other projects at Europa Park. But here we go. Let's see what happens with this project. And of course, we'll keep you up to date with all the latest news. I'll come back to it next week. If we hear more uh, in this announcement, what's happening in my time tonight, but as you were watching it today on Wednesday last night, if we hear much more, I'll talk about it next week. Um, but in the meantime, let me know your comments down below about this proposed cable car uh, to connect the country of France with Europa Park in Germany. Honestly, absolutely crazy, isn't it? And now moving on from that, of course, the biggest theme park resort in Europe for now, anyway, uh, Disneyland Paris. Of course, we've got three new areas coming to Walt Disney Studios uh, in the next sort of 10 years. It's all going to come together and it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, a spokesperson from the park has said that the plans for the Marvel area are the most advanced so far. And that makes sense because obviously that area is going to be opening first uh, before the Frozen area and all also Star Wars as well. Now there's not really any more details being announced uh, this week from this official spokesperson about Star Wars and Frozen but there is about Marvel and of course the actual Studio Lake as well which is going to be the hub, the new central area for the park that I'm most excited for with this project. Um, yes the Marvel section itself have announced it's going to be the European headquarters for the Avengers of course we know there's going to be two attractions within this Marvel area and uh, yeah we know details about one of them which is of course the Rock and Roller Coaster Reef theme uh, into an Iron Man ride. Uh, we know that's coming but in terms of the second attraction they're still being quite tight-lipped on that. They're not really giving any information about what's coming there.
there. Um, but yeah, I like the idea of that, the European headquarters of the Avengers. Instead of it being based uh, on the films and so to speak, it's going to be its own new adventure, a bit like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is opening at Disneyland in California uh, next year and also at Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World. So I like that idea. Uh, now, of course, it becomes a three-dimensional world uh, in which all the different characters all live and work. Uh, as we know already, there's going to be character meet and greets, themed restaurants, the attractions themselves, the whole area will be themed up. It's going to look really nice when it's put together. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what that second attraction is when we get more details. Will it be a replacement for Armageddon? Is it going to be going somewhere else? Who knows? It's a bit of a mystery at the moment. Uh, we do know, though, of course, a bit about the Studio Lake. Uh, that's going to be the gigantic lake in the middle, the hub of the area, as I mentioned just. And what they have now confirmed is that there's going to be shows on there in the daytime and also at night as well. So that's going to be great. I mean, we can assume there's going to be some sort of nighttime fireworks spectacular on there in the daytime. Who knows? Maybe like a, a daytime parade, a bit like Tokyo Disney Sea on there. I think it could be something really special. And as much as it's quite hard to get the scale on this lake at the moment, I know a lot of people have done like overlays and seeing how big it's going to be and stuff. I look forward to seeing seeing how it all comes together with restaurants around. You just imagine like the mountain at the back in the frozen area, Star Wars off to the side. It could be a really nice central hub for the park. And uh, yeah, the Studio Lake, I think it'll be absolutely fantastic when it's all together. And there's not really that long to wait. It's all gonna happen over the next uh, sort of seven to 10 years, all the uh, development taking place. And I really can't wait to follow it at Disneyland Paris. Very excited moving forward. So yes, welcome back to Guess the Ride. Now in last week's episode, I shared with you a sound clip from a certain theme park attraction somewhere out there in the world. And a lot of people were thinking it was Mystic Timbers for some reason. It's not Mystic Timbers. It was a flat ride located in Sweden at Liseberg. It was actually a little sound clip from Loki at the start of the cycle. You could just hear uh, like the mechanism itself to help it swing uh, in the background. And of course, a bit of the soundtrack to that area as well. But uh, there you go. Yeah, well done to anyone who got that one right. Loki, the Intamin Gyro Swing at Liseberg. Let's go back uh, this week instead of a sound clip. Let's have another image, a zoomed in image for you guys to try and guess. Um, so here it is. I'll put it on your screen now. There you go. Whereabouts is that? Remember, this segment is just for fun. I'd love to know uh, where that is out there in the theme park industry. Which park? Which country? Let me know. Comment down below on this video just for fun and I'll reveal exactly what it was in next Wednesday's episode. It's now time for Merch Paradise. So yes, welcome to Merch Paradise. Now, if you watched yesterday's brand new vlog on our channel from Vampire Beach, which is the Halloween event at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, then you've already had a bit of a preview about what I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, but there you go, I actually picked this item up in the shop, and this is great. It's a classic uh, refillable drinks cup uh, there from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. When I say classic, this is really old. We were speaking to them in the shop, and apparently they were clearing out some old offices, and they found boxes full of old merch, and this was some of it. And uh, yeah, as we can see, Look at this, Blackpool Pleasure Beach Resort Theme Park. I love it, Europe's most gripping theme park, it says at the bottom. Not branding it as amusement park, which is interesting. And look at that, you've got like the Grand National on the top, Avalanche, Revolution, the monorail in the background there with uh, all the old Pepsi branded on it. Of course, it's a Pepsi cup. And uh, yeah, you've got like the Funshine, flags up there as well. Honestly, this is such a classic item. I'm not too sure what year it's from. Uh, I'd be interested if any of you guys know out there, but uh, there you go, there's a little spin round of it. But yeah, look at that, and they were selling these for £3.50. What a bargain, I actually bought two of them. But uh, yeah, there you go. What an interesting item from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Such a classic, and you've got Noah's Ark on there as well. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Talking of Noah's Ark, they've actually put a new sign up at the exit at the exit gift shop to Pleasure Beach with a redone Noah's Ark sign, which is really nice. But yeah, really pleased with that one from my classic collection here at the World of Theme Parks. Blackpool Pleasure Beach Resort Theme Park. God, it's crazy, isn't it? What a really nice item to have. And of course, that'll be preserved here at the World of Theme Parks. <laughs> 
So welcome to the final segment of this week's episode, it is Interact With Me. If you've got a photo or a birthday shout out or anything special along those lines that you'd like to share in next week's episode, all you need to do is message it to us on the official Theme Park Worldwide Facebook page and also over on Instagram as well. Uh, picture which one you want to send over, send it to one of those social media channels as a private message and uh, Charlotte will get back to you and we'll put it in next week's episode. So yes, let's start off then loads to get through this week. Let's start off here with Anthony with a jewel on ride photo photo from Alton Towers. We then got Ola up next with a smile on ride photo there, so thanks for sharing that one. We then got Ruben with a Phoenix on ride photo there from Toverland, the new themed area of Avalon, beautiful. And then next up we got Ben who had a photo there with me, it was great to meet you. We then got Collab uh, who had a photo with me, Charlotte and Alex just there, but uh, there you go, thank you very much for sending that one in. We then got Thomas with a rock and roller coaster on ride photo up next. And following on from that, we've got Alex and Sean outside Wicker Man. There you go. It's not me and Alex. It's another Alex and Sean. But there you go. Thank you very much uh, for sending that one in. Uh, moving on then from that, we've got Matthew with an Accelerator on-ride photo there from Drayton Manor. And then we've got Rachel with a Rita on-ride photo there as well. Moving on, we've got David with a Saw Alive photo. So thanks for sharing that one with us. And Kyle with a dinosaur on ride photo there at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Love that dark ride, one of my favourites. And uh, we're not going to make it, we're not going to make it. We made it. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that one. Moving on then, we've got Harry at Fear at Avon Valley. Hope you had a good time. Then we've got Lucy and family with me and Charlotte and also Alex as well. It was great to meet you guys. If you see us at the parks, come and say hello. Then we've got Trist, who also had a photo with us three as well. So thank you for sharing that one. And then we've got Ben and his dad at Ferrari Land there, so thank you for sending that one in to us. Next up we've got Joel with a selection of on-ride photos just there, so thank you for sending them to us at Theme Park Worldwide. And then we've got Phil and Libby on Wicker Man at Alton Towers, hope you enjoyed it. And then we've got Coaster Course with a Caterpillar on-ride photo just there, so thank you for sending that one. Up next then we've got Robert who had a picture there also with me, Charlotte and Alex as well. We then got Paul with an Apocalypse on-ride photo. And following on from that, we got Jenny at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour there. So thank you for sharing that one. And then we got James at Thorpe Park Fright Night. So you had a good time. And Ethan with a Runaway Mind Train on-ride photo from Alton Towers. Moving on, we got Sean and Oliver uh, with me and Charlotte just there. Sean and Sean, there you go. Thank you very much for sending that one to us. And then got Robin and Becky at Scarefest. Hope you had a spectacular time. Moving on, we've got Joshua at Ferrari Land there as well, so thank you for sending that one in. Then we've got Sam at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, hope you had a fantastic time there. And also Jonathan uh, with a Pleasure Island selection of merchandise, so thank you for sharing that one with us. And then moving on to the birthdays, a big happy birthday uh, to Aaron Forder, happy 7th wedding anniversary. I'm, I do apologise for getting names wrong here, it's Eunice and Ian, I, I probably said it wrong, I'm awful on pronunciation, uh, but there you go, happy 7th wedding anniversary to you guys. Happy anniversary to Bubba and Keeney uh, from Danny and the family, and also happy birthday Toby. Finally, happy 13th birthday to Joshua Hill from all of us here at Theme Park Worldwide. There you go, we've reached the end of this week's episode, but don't worry, I'll be back next Wednesday with even more Interact With Me, Merch Paradise, Guess the Ride, and of course, our weekly news roundup. Thank you very much for watching. Check out our final Halloween vlog in the next couple of days from Alton Towers Scarefest as we move into fireworks and then on to Christmas uh, for our biggest winter ever on Theme Park Worldwide. It's going to be absolutely epic. Thanks for watching, and that means it's time to cue those credits. See you next Wednesday.